Hello and welcome today to our point of the week. Today we're going to actually look at kidney 7. Kidney 7 is a point I use quite frequently in clinic and it is a point I do recommend to quite a few colleagues and particularly to a lot of my students. Now kidney 7, its location in itself is two suns above kidney 3 so ideally is to locate kidney 3 first. Uh, so kidney 7 is actually situated anterior in the depression to the Achilles tendon and posterior to the um, medial malleolus of the ankle. So needling wise it's approximately 0 0.5 to 1 sun in depth. Now it is quite an effective point for regulating interstitial fluid. So any kind of swelling and edema in the lower limb when used in conjunction with spleen 9, those two points will address post-traumatic swelling, uh, particularly if it's from any kind of surgical intervention or any um, swelling in the lower limb, whether it's the knee, the ankle, or even uh, hematoma or anything like that, that may well have occurred in the lower limb. Now, let's say for example, it has occurred to the extent where there's extensive swelling and you're not able to needle on that side, those two points will effectively reduce swelling if needled onto the opposite side. It will still have an effect on the side that has the actual swelling. So it does uh, regulate um, swelling in the four limbs. In addition to actually treating swelling and inflammation, it will also address things such as dribbling urination, frequent urination. Uh, in addition to that, is sweating, spontaneous sweating and any kind of night sweat. So it is good for treating general um, regulation of water. So I hope you find that useful. It is worthwhile trying those two points um, within your clinical setting and I hope, hopefully you will get some good effect as I have and many of my colleagues has uh, with regards to utilising those points in conjunction with each other. Thank you for listening. Hope to see you again soon.